Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna try and do some really weird shit with this thermal camera here and I just made, uh, well I actually made this setup quite a while ago but I haven't really used it for anything. I bought a thermal camera uh, just before Christmas and it got here also just before Christmas. I just want to show you this setup that I've done. See if we can get a good picture of that. Don't face recognize me. Okay. This is how it looks. It's really weird and it's on a tripod. It's very unstable, but it's a bit wobbly wobbly if I just touch it here. Eh. Today I want to use the thermal camera to improve my house insulation because a thermal camera is really good at seeing hotspots like my mouth here. And if I just get a big bottle of Coke here, this is the cheap LD brand that um, Aldi supplies here in Denmark. And you can see it's, it's all black compared to my hot face. Um, and if I just take a sip, uh, make sure to cool down my lips. You can see, uh, maybe you can see, the Coke is definitely cooler than the rest of me. But, well, but I want to use the thermal camera to um, point at different stuff and I already have a couple of things that I want to improve on. Um, right here behind me is an outlet that has, um, I forgot to insulate the outlet behind the outlet so there is kind of a a hole out into the winter garden, summer garden, winter garden over here and um, cold air is coming in that way. So I want to try and improve that so that I don't need to use as much time and money on heating my house. Because I only come here in the weekends and I don't like using money on heating the house when I'm not here. So when I heat the house in the weekends, I want the house to, to stay warm as good as possible so that it can last over the week. It, it's not going to be able to maintain 21 degrees Celsius. That would be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit um, all through the week. But if it would just maintain 10 degrees. When I got here this weekend, it was down to 6 degrees. There is a long way to heat up a house from 6 degrees to 21 degrees Celsius. So um, yeah, I want to improve on that a little bit. So let's go see what I'm up to, shall we? So this is the outlet in question. You can see how black it is compared to when I put my hand over here and I can feel cold air coming through there. Even the, the walls here, I've been heating the house for the entire weekend. The walls are about, does the camera say that? It's, we can actually get that there. Now the temperature of the camera is way off. It's not 24 degrees Celsius, it's 21 degrees. But if we point it over at the outlet, we can see that it drops. Like the outlet is about four degrees lower than the rest of, well, the wall just over here. So I want to take out this switch box here and insulate it uh, behind it and um, hopefully that will do so that I don't get all of this cold air in here. The reason why this is cold is because there's an outlet much like it on the outside. We might just go out and see that. So here we are on the other side of the wall. You can see my reflection in the glass. Awesome. This is the outlet on the outside and that is connected to the outlet on the inside and the work on the wall and wiring and stuff is really bad so it's letting a lot of air through and as you can see on the camera over here um, it's about six degrees well it actually it looks like it's climbing a little bit we can see the wall up there that's actually a bit hotter I'm pointed at the door over here the, the this is the plastic framing, hi, and the glass, so 
a lot of heat is going through the glass this is it's double energy efficient glass but still there is a lot of heat coming out from the living room that is okay it's not so okay that um, cold air is coming in through this outlet I do actually believe that the cold air is moving from the winter garden and into the living room instead of the other way around so it's not the hot air escaping I'm just getting cold air in so I will try and take that apart and insulate that a little bit so we'll have a look at that okay this is quite embarrassing I have just worked on this outlet for mm, half an hour at least I thought I thought I could pop it out and just um, well put some insulation in behind it but it turned out I put in this outlet really well with really short wires I will have to disassemble everything um, so right now I've just stuffed in some insulation I don't know what you call this but we call it glassul it's called glass wool made by rock wool you can see the outlet over here I've kind of gotten the lower piece that seems to be a bit hotter than the upper piece 20 degrees 22 degrees over there it's almost 25 degrees so I need to see if I can put in some more rock wool insulation on the top also right there there is not as much cold air coming through it now I can feel that okay here we have moved out to the front door of my playhouse here and as you can see there is some really black lines around well up here somewhere if we go over there that would be that part so cold air is coming in there and the same thing down here at the bottom especially over here the door is very black and on the thermal camera you can of course see that as a really black line down there so I want to put on some insulation tape there and I'll go to the basement and see if I can find that because this is bad and I have been over there feeling it and it's cold air coming in it's not it's not leaving it's just oh yeah and this is a single pane of glass so that's not very hot seven point eight degrees at points over here that's plastic there's a window but there's plastic in front of the window let's see if we can point it to the cold area down here yeah that's we're down to six degrees or something like that so well i'll go find that in the basement and see if we can mount some of that and prevent some of that cold air from coming in so i've been cleaning this door for a little bit because it was really dirty it's still very dirty old and crappy too um but it does not mm, make a very good seal around here it did have some kind of an old seal sealant something some kind of a strip that I pull off back in the day that might have been good so I'm gonna put on a new one up there across here and over here I think I'll go down the side like there and the same thing over here I'll we'll put it one on this lip see if that will do yeah and the thing that i'm putting on is this rubber seal from power fix uh, i bought this i probably had this laying around in five years or something and it's something like this and there are kind of two strips with some glue adhesive on the back and you can use one strip or two strips so um, well that's uh, that's what i'm planning anyway I got half of the door done now. You just get a look at what I've done. Put on a strip up here. This one. That should um, pull tight to this line here. And even though it's a little bit rough, it has some bad paint and stuff on it, it will still um, make a good seal with this thing. In here, um, it's not on this uh, lip here because then it would be scraped off it's on this one and that will make this uh, part of the door press in against this and make a very good seal there I'm a bit worried about the bottom down here that sucks that does not look very promising and over here there's a big lip inside 
here. I don't know what to do there. Well, let's see when I get there. So cutting, 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 cleaning, and the door is better now. So let's see that. It's now sealed all the way around. In there. And on the bottom, it got a double strip. I have no idea if it's gonna be any good, but um, I'll go get the thermal camera. It ran dry of battery, so uh, we'll have a look and see if this uh, was worth my time. Okay, it's pretty hard to see any difference. It's still pretty cold down here. Actually, I just measured over here, I measured 40 degrees Celsius somewhere. Uh, Yeah, 4.9 over 4.3, 4.4. But I do believe that not as much air. Oh, the top has become fairly good, right? So not as much. Yeah, that that has helped up here. That's for sure. The bottom not so much it's still pretty bad down there um, a lot of cold coming in down here so I have to um, look into that the big dream is to totally change out this whole section of the house but that's a at least two thousand dollar dream so a couple of strips for next to nothing is um, always a good step in the right direction i do think that is this has helped somewhat i'll have to go feel it okay. ah, cold air is still coming in here that hasn't helped much that's for sure over here i can't feel anything but over here it's definitely bad it's pissing right in right there uh, not good. Yeah, it is as if it's better over there than over here. That's for sure. But there is cold air coming in there. I can feel that with my bare hands. I need to uh, to do some more here. So this was my first trial at um, let's see <laughs> at um, trying to improve my house with the thermal camera, um, checking it out. And I see that I need to improve some more in the background here. That door sucks and I can feel the air coming in. So I have to go and buy some more of that strip thing, see if I can get that to seal at some point. The door is already very hard to close because um, all the strips has to really, what you call that, work their way in, has to wear some of the places that are, they are too thick and some of the places that are not thick enough. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye. Awesome.